Indonesia hosts the second largest tropical peatlands in the world. Tropical peatlands is a natural wetland that stores 20 times more carbon compared to mineral soil. 45% of endangered animals also consider tropical peatlands as their home. Unfortunately, tropical peatlands is one of the most threatened ecosystems, especially in Southeast Asia due to unsustainable agricultural practices. Draining peatlands by building canals is often considered as the easiest way to provide land for cultivation. On average, every hectare of drained tropical peatlands releases 55 metric tons of carbon dioxide every year, which is almost equivalent to burning more than 6,000 gallons of gasoline. This number will increase when the peatlands is on fire. This is the reason Indonesia became the fourth biggest carbon emitter in 2015. Peatland Restoration Agency was established to coordinate and facilitate degraded peatlands restoration in seven priority provinces. With a total area of 2.6 million hectares until 2020. However, monitoring the vast area of peatlands directly is a challenge. Therefore, Peatland Restoration Agency launched PRIMS, an online platform that showcases data and the latest development of peatlands restoration activities in seven priority provinces. As a spatial database platform with analytical ability, PRIMS can oversee restoration activities that have been done. It can also estimate the impact on an area from peatlands restoration activities, especially peatlands re-wetting. PRIMS main features comprise of peat restoration activities, peat care village, Peatland Restoration Partners, Peat Moisture, Tree Cover Loss on Protected Peat, Hotspots Fire Indication, PRIMS is publicly accessible by everyone who wants to monitor the peatlands restoration activities in seven priority provinces. For example, Peatland Restoration Agency or related ministries can identify the location of peatlands opening, new peat canals, and the occurrence of hotspots. Companies can identify whether its business area is in the area for peatlands protection or in an area that allows cultivation so they can adjust their management and restoration plans. Civil society organizations can help Peatland Restoration Agency to monitor the restoration activities on the field. The public also can help to monitor peatlands opening, any hotspots occurrence, and report it to the ministry or relevant authorities. PRIMS helps to monitor peatlands condition and restoration progress so it can be protected, managed sustainably, and preserved peatlands function as carbon reservoirs. Learn more on en.prims.brg.go.id.